Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today on day three, the last part of the project that we're doing. So today we'll just be doing the border around our earring and inserting the hook to make our earring complete and nice. So I hope you're going to enjoy this and let's get started. So this is where we left off in the previous video. Here's our earring. for the end. So the aim for today is just to do the outline and add our hook. Here's our hook with a stopper. Just add it. Add it. Not add it. Add it. <laughs> okay. So I have my needle and my cotton and my cotton or my thread. I'm just going to tie a knot like I've always been doing. The nice thing about this earring is that for every level, you do the same thing. The only thing that changes is maybe skipping things and or... The number of beads so i'm tying two knots making it nice and secure i'm just going to cut the tail but i'm not going to cut it too close just so that i won't have a hard time so my lines i want them to my lines to have two beads ne? maybe to have two beads two beads so that means oh and another thing i want a one bead at the top of the line popping out so that means i'll have two beads one one bead popping out and then another line of two beads so that means i'm going to pick up five beads so here i am i have my five beads push them to the end like this the popping out bead will make sense <laughs> as we continue so i'm just gonna insert my needle like this into the hole into the thick of it into the thick of it oak and then i insert i'm sorry i insert my needle like this I've decided to go with black, like have a solid black trim because I feel like the gold has to pop out. So if you have, if you have too much of the gold, then what's the point? I don't know. That's that's how I decided to go about. But you can go about any way. You can also go about the other designs. So now as we continue to move, this was our start. We're just going to pick up three beads. So every time we make a new line we pick up three beads here are my three beads take them and i move them push them to the end i insert my needle under and then what do i do i insert my needle and i move upwards like this and then I pull. Remember to pull tightly just to secure and make your work nice and neat. I pick up my three beads again. Again. My three beads. This. And I insert my needle like this, and then I pull. So I'm going to do that all the way until we get here to the tip, because that's where I would like to add the hook. I, I prefer the hook to be at the tip, maybe off the petal. If you like it at the center, it's all up to you. That That's how I like it. That's a nice thing about being creative. You can go about anyhow. So I'm just going to push until I get 
to the tip and then we can insert our hook so i've pushed a bit so this is the point where i would like to add my hook so i take my hook and i insert it like this and then i pick up two beads after adding the hook so i'm not going to pick up three beads i'm going to pick up two beads after adding the hook and then i do what i've been doing hold it down like this and then I insert my needle and I move up like this gonna make it tight there we go here's my earring Ooh. <laughs> there we go so the hook is nice and installed here casual so when I move on I I go back to picking up three beads oh, what's happening with my voice <laughs> i go back to picking up three beads i add my needle under the ring then i insert my needle into the two beads i move up Dun, da, da, da. here it is continue with my three beads all the way until i finish the circle just want to make sure that everything is secure yes it is like this so now i'm going to push all the way until i come to the end until we meet again so now we're at the last last open space no open space left behind <laughs> i picked up my three beads and i do this what we have been doing this set my needle into the two beads like this so now i need one bead that will just create a bridge in between the two lines so here's my one bead and then i'm going to take my needle and set it into the two beads these two beads and push down it kind of stuck i'll come back like i have been saying Guti, in this channel a video is not complete if a needle is not stuck so i'm starting to think i'm the problem and not the needle yeah you know sometimes when uh things happen and they routine let's say for example you have friends and then okay you cut off a friendship with one friend fine and then you meet another friend and then it ends the same and then you meet another friend and then it ends the same i sometimes you have to sit down and think as in maybe i'm the problem what what why am i attracting this kind of people in my life hmm? and trump is your fan maybe you are the same so i think it's no more about the needle. It's about me. <laughs> I have to start doing an introspection. The next door, you can just push it out just to secure the thread. Dun, dun, dun. And you pull nicely. And then you're going to make one knot. Just tie it down with a knot pull it make sure it's secure 
and do that again oopsie sorry do that again with second knot like serious you always like we always like ah people are toxic <laughs> sometimes we have to stop and think Guti, what am i doing to attract toxic people in my life maybe i'm the toxic person you know it's important to have honest conversation with yourself really 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 so here's our earring it's done it's complete it's doing the most it's gorgeous it's amazing <laughs> i like it so much ah, i don't like it i love it i love the gold i love how the gold is like it teases you it's not too much it's it's perfect this earring is so perfect oh i'm just going to make a pay now the nice thing the, the nice thing about making earrings is that you can make the first earring now that's the nice that's the nice part of making earrings is making the first earring and then when it comes to making the second earring for me it's quite stressful because there's a lot of pressure to make the second earring look exactly like the first earring so yeah so we're done with our earring thank you so much queens and kings for watching oh yes please a reminder if you know where we can find that plastic flat ring please 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 in the comment section or maybe if you know where we can find it or what it's called please help us thank you so much for watching queens and kings i love you guys so much remember to love yourself remember to respect yourself remember to honor yourself and have fun if you love the content that you've seen please consider subscribing see you on the next tutorial the next tutorial will be starting a new tutorial it will be nice bye